How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to Milk, White Poison or Healthy Drink by In A Nutshell. Alright, so it's been a hot spell since I've done uh, blah, 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 off to a great start. <laughs> So it's been a while since I've done an In A Nutshell video, and I'm super excited to come back as always, because this is probably my favorite channel on YouTube at the moment, besides maybe Black Plasma Studio? It's getting up there, getting up there pretty fast, but uh, really enjoy it. And they they had me in one of their videos, so they get brownie points. But uh, on to this one, like, I have a feeling this one's gonna be like the, uh, the meat one, if I'm not mistaken, but I could be totally wrong, but... I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. I could be wrong, but I don't care. I'm gonna I'm gonna guess. Uh this one's gonna be like some milk is good, some milk is bad, and some milk causes cancer, but they haven't really determined that yet, because that's how the meat one did. So without any further ado, here is milk, white poison, or healthy drink. And that is an amazing title. Milk has become a bit controversial. Some people say it's a necessary and nutritious food, vital for healthy bones. But others oh. say it can cause cancer and lead to an early death. So, who's right? And why are we drinking <laughs> While it you have your milk. It's like, who's right? I don't know anymore. Whoa. Bro. <laughs> I like that milk intro. The basis of every mammal's diet after birth when our digestive systems are immature and small. Cool. Basically, it's power food to kickstart our bodies and help us grow. <laughs> Just unnatural growth, fat, like your arm vitamins, first. Minerals and milk sugar, lactose. Lactose. On top of that, for a while after birth, it also contains antibodies and proteins yeah. that protect us from infections and regulate our immune system. Is that Jack Jack? But it's a lot of That's Jack for Jack to produce. Oh, Eventually, mom looks so worn out, man. Milk and transition to the diet of their parents. This is how it's been for thousands of years. Until about 11,000 years ago, when our ancestors settled down in the first agricultural communities. Cool. Soon, they domesticated the first dairy animals, goats, sheep, and cattle. Huh. They found that dairy animals are able to eat useless and abundant stuff and turn it into nutritious and tasty oh. food. Oh. <laughs> I was this like, what's happening? In terms of survival, especially in hard times. I got so milk, yo. Had milk available had an evolutionary Cal's advantage. like, but that's mine. And through natural selection, it changed the genes of communities who consumed a lot of it. Huh. This adaptation has to do with a specialized enzyme, lactase. Lactase? Babies have a lot of it in their system, so they can break oh, no. down milk, sugar, lactose, and digest I was just going to say, lactose looks so cute. But the older we grow, the fewer lactase enzymes our body produces. Worldwide, about 65% of the population do not have the enzyme after infancy, which means they are not able to digest more than about 150 milliliters each day. I honestly didn't know it was that this much. This lactose intolerance is not spread evenly around the world, though. In some East Asian communities, for example, it's up to 90%. Dang! In Northern Europe and North America, the rates are the lowest overall. There are probably a few reasons for this uneven distribution. The trait was first introduced by a random mutation, which happened independently of each other in a few populations. Huh. The fact that farming replaced hunting and gathering more and more created natural selection pressure. People who were able to <laughs> you can't survive on milk, you die. Had more foods at hand, which was an advantage. The migration of dairy farmers to the north then spread it further, which probably pushed back populations there that didn't have the trait. Natural okay. selection could be a cruel, cruel mistress. Part of our diet for thousands of years, why is it so controversial? <laughs> there are a number of claims regarding the negative and positive health effects of milk. The Ooh. negative ones cover a wide variety. That udder is from brittle bones, very disturbing to me. <laughs> cardiovascular diseases yeah. to intolerance and allergies. Yeah. So how do they hold up? Some older studies found a connection between milk and a high risk of breast, colon, and prostate cancer. There's the C word. But meta-analysis always comes found in. No impact on your cancer risk. Huh? You're on all good. Country, There's no risk. The Drink all the milk. In milk might even have a protective effect against colon cancer. Oh. Although this could be calcium in general, it's not yeah. clear milk plays a role in this effect. Seeds and nuts. Only studies on We're prostate love my cancer nuts. showed an increased risk for people who consumed more than one and a quarter liters of milk a day. 
but again, the association is inconsistent, and <laughs> other studies. So yeah, don't we're just gonna effect. snip these. We discuss these studies in more detail. Don't in do it, Cal. document. It's very all important all, information. Research seems to show that if you drink between 100 to 200 really like liters of milk per day, cancer is not yeah, a concern. Yeah, f you, cancer. Similarly, meta-analyses could not find any impact from milk or dairy products on your risk of heart disease, stroke, or your total mortality. We're just dead. Some studies even suggested that high blood pressure might be rarer in people who eat a lot of dairy, although the evidence is not strong enough to claim this with confidence. It's like, who knows, man? The case gets more complicated, though, hey, when buddy. we look at bones. A number of studies found Spooky, neither positive nor negative effects for adults. Aww. What most people worry Found most about, though, are harmful <laughs> amounts of pesticides, antibiotics, yeah. or hormones. There are hormones in milk, but only in very low concentrations. <laughs> Guys, For example, to get the same amount of hormones as from the pill, you'd need to drink about 5,000 liters of milk, and even if you did, oh, no. <laughs> hormones would be destroyed by your digestive system before they could affect you. Aww. Which is the reason why so much medication is coated, to protect it from our digestion. For pesticides and antibiotics, there are regulations in most parts of the world that only allow completely harmless amounts. I hope so. Milk that surpasses these FDA thresholds don't really is like not them. allowed to go on the shelf, so there's nothing in particular to worry about. Besides allergies and those suffering from lactose intolerances, <laughs> the best known negative effects oh, of milk I'm gonna are call you flamingo because I'm and general discomfort acne. after drinking milk really? or eating dairy products. I thought it was just making too here, the effects or are gas, real. I should say. For example, skimmed milk has been found to statistically increase the rate of acne by 24%. I think I don't allergies drink skim milk. milk products are especially prevalent among children, with one in 18 kids in Germany suffering from them. In general, these allergies tend to get better or disappear as they grow older though. Okay, is milk healthy then? Right. Milk, no matter if it comes from hey, butters, Jack -Jack cows, again. sheep, goats or camels, is a nutrient-dense Camels? Food. It really? contains all necessary macronutrients and many micronutrients. Especially in regions where people struggle to get enough calories, milk Aww. can contribute to a healthy life Even the and poor lower cow. child mortality. For those living in the developed world, in general, milk is not harmful if you are not allergic or intolerant to it. Especially for children, it's a good way to get large amounts of calcium. Give me all the milk, mama. Vegetarians, it's a good source of vitamin B12 Mutang. and B vitamins in general. That's a clever joke. This does not mean there are not other alternatives with the same effect. You're gonna love my nuts. You do not need to bean me up, Scotty. Healthy. God, these puns in this video. Milk is also definitely not a substitute for water. Milk is powerful, oh, yeah. and the additional calories from drinking a lot I don't of drink on a regular either. basis can contribute to being overweight. Oh, especially flavored milk or chocolate milk Yum. is more comparable to beverages like lemonade than a healthy snack. And there's another thing to consider: milk production has a significant impact on the global climate. Oh, about 33% of cropland is used Get to into feed the animals, stuff. including dairy cattle. Even though the carbon footprint of dairy products has declined since 1990, Ooh. dairy production is still responsible for 3% of all greenhouse gas emissions, even more than all aeroplanes combined. Bro! Milk is a huge industry, and sadly, most of its production in factory farms causes incredible suffering. That poo. That's poo. Cows are impregnated over and over, separated I don't from their young shortly after birth, I hate and animal slaughtered abuse. once their tortured bodies are not productive anymore. We can't ignore that much of the milk we consume stems from an industry that is basically torture and contributes to climate change. God. What about plant-based milk? Like almond milk? In terms of protein levels and nutritional oh, value, snap. only soy milk can compare to cow milk. Yeah. The others need to be artificially enriched to reach similar levels mm. of vitamins and okay. calcium. So they can be... Steroids! <laughs> and Hi. another option might be available soon. Lab Several milk? Several startups have created non-animal milk that is nutritionally identical to dairy milk, for example through fermentation by gene-modified bacteria. Huh. This lab-grown milk can even be turned into cheese, something that plant-based alternatives struggle with because they lack casein and whey protein, the key ingredients that give dairy its taste and structure. Okay. The environmental impact is a different you just story, though. Make milk in a lab. Many That's milk cool. alternatives use it's significantly different. less energy, land, and less water to produce, so they have a much lower environmental impact Aww. than animal milk. 
Poor cow milk. If you want milk. to have the lowest possible nectar Animal milk, on I should the planet, say. the best choice is whatever milk alternative is regional. Okay. Regional milk. As with almost any topic, milk is complicated. God, I really love that. It's like, not the cursive thing. for the majority of the population, and it's crucial for many people around the world. It's good, nutritious food, but also harmful to the planet Shit. and causes a lot of suffering. You had to go back there, we didn't you? We need to decide as a society how we want to deal with these facts. If you feel like watching more documentary style videos now, check out Curiosity Knew Stream. It. A subscription stream. Dang, that video went by really fast to me. <laughs> but alright, that was very insightful. Like, duh, every video that they put out is very insightful. I really, really like this one. But again, it was kind of like the meat one. I called it. But uh, what's it called? I, there was some stuff in there that I really didn't know. Like the whole lab-based milk. I, I didn't know that at all. And uh, the whole, like, how we get the milk, that part, I knew about it. But I didn't know it was that bad, like, all the... I was about to say something about it, my brain totally just like, nah, you don't need to say that. But, uh, yeah, this video was really, really insightful. And, again, like, with the camels, I did not know there was camel milk. I really didn't. But, uh, almond milk and stuff, I do enjoy almond milk. The very first time I tried almond milk was probably 2013, maybe 2014 when I was in college. My roommate had it in the refrigerator, and I was like, I'm gonna pour a glass. Like, nobody was home, so I was like, yeah, rum is your fridge, you know? I was that roommate. No, I'm joking. But, uh, what's it called? Poured me a glass and drank it, and it was very good. Like, almond milk is delicious. And I know some people are like, oh, almond milk is stupid. It's good, okay? <laughs> They're probably just arguing because they haven't tried it yet. But yeah, this video was amazing. I loved it so much, as I always tend to do with In A Nutshell videos. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic, and I'll see y'all in the next episode. Later days!